Hi mummies! Today I'm going to be reviewing with you guys the Baby Express B3 Wearable Breast Pump. And first up, I just want to say I'm really excited about this one guys because uh, ever since I started using it, I now understand why so many moms recommend it and rave about it because it truly brings you a lot of freedom when it comes to breast pumping. And I've been using it for a while now, so I just wanted to share my experience with you guys as well as all the pros and cons that I discovered while using it. And I actually listed them down all in my phone. You can see here it's a pretty long list because I just don't want to miss sharing it all with you guys. Uh, I want you guys to be able to, uh, from this video, know whether this is the right pump for you and also what to expect when you're using it. Okay, so let's get started, alright? For those of you who have not, uh, you know, you're not familiar with the Be Free, what it does is actually a portable wearable breast pump that allows you to pump while being hands-free, mobile, and even on the go. So it is completely tubeless and wireless. Like this is the unit. It has a rechargeable battery unit uh, inside here. And this is where the motor lives as well. And then this is the silicone cup that you actually place uh, on your breast. And so all you need to do is assemble it Put it in your nursing bra or your pumping bra, switch on the motor and start pumping. And what it allows you to do is that it basically frees up your hands. Uh, the fact that you're not tied to any other part of the pump allows you to move around and attend to baby or your chores all while pumping. And I must say that this is one of the biggest selling points because as moms, we have a million one things to do, right? And uh, if you do not have extra help at home, you need to be with baby as well. And sometimes when baby fusses or needs to be fed, then you need your hands, you need to be able to move around to get the things that you need. And so I think that this pump uh, really allows you to be able to do all that while expressing your milk. And one of the second biggest selling points of this pump that is also the reason why I picked up, picked it up is because it allows you to pump on the go. And um, one of the situations that I ran into was that uh, I'd be out for an extended period of time and I'd be worried that, you know, um, I need to pump, right? Because my breasts are filling up with milk. And so the two possible outcomes of that would be first, I get really uncomfortable and you know really full and potentially I might run into engorgement issues or the second thing could be you know my milk supply be affected because um, breast pumping is on a supply and demand basis right breastfeeding breast pumping uh, and because I'm not expressing it out then my body might think that okay you know she might not need as much milk so then reduces my supply which then would affect the amount of yield that I get at the end of the day uh, so I always be concerned you know I'll be worried like okay I need to go home and pump and yeah it's it, it, it was something that I wished I I could solve uh, but bringing my pump out would be such a hassle because I actually use the Spectra S1 Plus and I just want to show it to you guys uh, it is a really good pump it's really effective and efficient it is my primary and favorite pump but look at it <laughs> it is pretty big it is pretty heavy and it's definitely obvious because uh, it's connected to these tubes which then connects to the bottles the flanges and then the bottles so you cannot pump in public because it's definitely not discreet at all um yeah and if i was to pump in the car uh, I would have to carry this whole setup with me so it definitely wasn't really an option I considered um, but with this pump it is so easy to bring around it is lightweight it is compact and it's also really discreet in the way that it functions because you what you do is you put it in your bra right and then if you wear loose fitting clothes over it while this looks like a sizable unit it's actually not very detectable or obvious um you can wear something loose or you can wear a nursing cover of it i can imagine doing this in the restaurant i can imagine doing this in the office uh, and also of course in your car uh, even while driving to your destination because it's just pretty comfortable to wear and it's quite discreet 
one of the value added things is that it's not very loud as well so i started using this and i had some friends over and they didn't even realize that i was pumping because it didn't make such a loud whirring sound which is like usually the motor sound that goes like brr, 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 right this one does have that noise but it's definitely a lot lesser and i think that makes it really really good uh if you find that you're always locked to your pump or if you find that you're always worrying about you know pumping then this definitely uh solves that problem okay uh and it's one of the reasons why i love it so much so now it's part of my routine i use it in the afternoon other than using it on the go i use it in the afternoon while i'm at the computer uh, working because uh anytime baby calls me i can just you know attend to her i can get her milk i can change her diapers i do not need to stop pumping and then you know leave it aside i can do it all simultaneously and that makes the entire breast pumping process uh, a lot more bearable and a lot more enjoyable as well so yeah that is one of the biggest main points that i really uh, love about it and okay so the next thing is we know it gives you freedom we know it gives you mobility the next big question is is it effective because if it's not effective in pumping out your milk then it's not gonna be an option for you right so i started using it and i was a bit skeptical because i mean the motor is so small uh compared to my spectra which is really great expressing my milk it's so huge right so you kind of think that there must be a difference so i've had some moms review the product and share that um the eel that they get is roughly about the same as the Spectra or Modella, which was pretty impressive. But I've also heard some moms share that it's not suitable because their eel is, it doesn't work for them. So I think ultimately for this, you have to try it out for yourself. For me personally, when I used it, I don't eel as much as I do with the Spectra. But I eel a very close amount, about three quarters of the amount. And I think if I let it go on for longer, then I might be able to reach the same amount, right? Just a little bit longer. Um, and then the trade-off is actually considerably small because I'm actually not locked to a pump while using this. Uh, so yeah, you gotta try it out for yourself. But I was really pretty impressed with the suction. Um, it has five level settings. So what this pump does, right, is that you just switch it on. There are two modes. One is the stimulation mode, which is like the like it goes like this frequency you can adjust it to have a stronger kind of suction and then the second mode is the expression mode which then the frequency will be you know kind of more like a you know a sucking motion and then you can also of course increase and decrease the suction uh, accordingly and i was really impressed by it because uh it, it, it really expressed my milk pretty well and pretty fast also so I was like wow um, so definitely you do need to try it out first for yourself to know whether it's suitable for you but it works for me and I, I'm really happy with it and next thing is I think one of the benefits of this is also the fact that it's separate so you can actually adjust the section suction level uh, on each side you can customize it on each side so i know that you know we think that we're symmetrical and both sides of our body should be the same but it's not like that in reality right uh, one breast can function differently and perform differently from the other and so if you find that you are like that um, then this really works because if you know maybe your right side needs a little bit more um, suction then or a little bit more um, stimulation then you can do that right while the left side can be customized differently so i think that is one of the uh, good things about this because if you use a normal double electric pump it's just one model and it connects to both sides so you can't customize each side but baby express actually thought more about this and adapted their pumps to suit different people right and uh this because it's separate you can do it but they also have the be mine uh, which is a, a like electric breast palm that is tubed and that one also allows you to customize the suction for both sides so if you find that you need that function this is a pretty good option okay 
Um, next thing, I think I might have shared this just now, but it is relatively quiet. Uh, I don't find it very distracting, very noisy. I can do it while at work and it doesn't irritate me. It doesn't irritate the people around me also, so I can do it while in a... Uh, with company uh, so that is one of the really good things because especially at night if you need to pump at night and you don't want to wake your husband up you don't want to wake your baby up with this loud motor noise then this is really pretty subtle so definitely something to consider the battery okay it is pretty impressive also because I thought it was so small I was like you know how, how long can this last but I tried it out and it can actually last three to four full sessions and sometimes my sessions you know because it's so comfortable using it uh, time just passes and I don't even realize it so uh, maybe sometimes it even stretches longer and maybe you might even be able to hit a fifth session with it and yeah it depends on you know how much time you decide to pump for but definitely pretty impressive the charging capacity uh, it's good uh, the speed is also not bad I, I leave it there and I didn't go and time it but you know it didn't take super long to be full um, one of the downsides though it, it doesn't tell you how full or how empty it is uh, so unlike the spectra the spectra actually has this um, has this uh, battery you can hear how loud is it right <laughs> and compared to this one oh, since now I just switched it on you can hear this I'll switch it to the highest mode can you hear it? then you compare it to this Okay, of course the disclaimer is that this is currently not connected to the bottles which are not connected to my breast so it's definitely softer than uh, I mean it's softer when it's placed on them like this uh, but this also is softer when I place it on my breast because of the suction you know, it's moving against something so it's softer as well so I just want to just give you a relative comparison but as I was saying, the Spectra you see it has this battery level uh, like meter that shows you that so the downside of this is that it doesn't have that uh, but it does have a blinking light that indicates okay battery low uh, it's a blinking red light uh, when it's fully charged it's a green light that appears so you can see now the green light can you see the green light that appears yeah so that means that it has enough battery to go okay next thing I found out about it was it is made of really pretty high quality silicon. So this silicon is food grade. It's safe and that's really important because you are using it for breast milk which then is for baby's consumption. You need it to be safe, you need it to be hygienic and this has that quality. The silicon is also really good quality. It's uh, very bendable. It adheres to your breast uh, very comfortably I was really pretty impressed and yeah you can disinfect it pretty well with either warm or either hot water boiling water or boiling water sorry not hot water or the sterilizer it, it works really well and it's also really simple easy to use the parts are easy to assemble not complicated at all easy to wash you can even throw it into the dishwasher but of course you have to uh, disassemble it just to make sure that it's really clean Okay, um, I think that the fact that this silicone is so comfortable uh, while I was using it, considering that the suction was impressive, uh, it didn't really hurt my skin. I don't have sensitive skin, but I can think that this would be suitable for people with sensitive skin because when I use my normal pump, uh, sometimes it does leave the the impression right the impression of the flange uh, and the red marks you know especially if the suction is on like quite high but this one it doesn't really leave that mark so I would think that it's pretty gentle on the skin and uh, that is definitely a value at a point right because your breasts are so tender uh, you don't want to hurt it and yeah it makes it uh, pretty good and one of the things that really impressed me was how well it adhered to me so I thought that I needed to, you know, pull and, and 
make sure my bra was holding it tight like a corset so it doesn't fall off so it doesn't leak right but it was a very comfortable experience i put it on and the milk somehow it's very well designed the milk somehow just flows in here and comes out here and it doesn't really kind of leak so at first i was worried about that right because you know uh, if it leaks it's going to be such a mess but it so far hasn't and i've been using it pretty often and that leads me to my next point which is so the milk fills up here right fills up like this and then so i was thinking okay i need to pour it into the bottle once i'm done so i removed the moro and i thought i laid it down like this okay just imagine that there's milk inside and i thought i needed to open the cup so that i can pour it but what's so amazing about it is that it's got this design that has this hole here so what you do is when you put it flat you just pour it out and it just comes out into your bottle i just found that i was so blown away i was like wow like this means that there's gonna be little spillage little to none you know spillage um and no mess completely fast free uh so yeah i really do find the design of this pretty good and of course it is pretty intuitive as well the there are only a few buttons on the moto so it's not difficult to use uh, one of the downsides is that it doesn't come with the instruction manual but it's so easy to use that you don't need it and of course you can just watch videos on how to use it if you you want to just be more thorough but one of the po uh, positive things about the fact that it's so simple right and so well designed is that you put it in your bra and because the buttons are all at the top you can just easily look down and you can just like press it you know as compared to if the buttons were somewhere else and then you need to fit out so it's kind of really intuitive and uh i'm just really impressed with whoever came up with this design because it just works well and yeah and of course I think I might have shared this already. It's portable, it's light. I think one side is only about 140 grams. So this is just like less than 300 grams. It's so compact. You just need to put this in a small bag, a Ziploc or something. Put it in your bag, bring it along. It doesn't weigh a ton compared to my dress. Spectra. <laughs> you see, even both of it is, yeah. And this, don't forget, you need to bring the bottles, you need to bring the flanges, you need to bring the tubes. Okay, so um, this is just so much easier. You don't really need to assemble it outside, also, you have it all assembled at home already. Bring it, put it, you're done with it. Just super uh, efficient. I think this is so suitable for the modern mom. Like, it's everything a new age pump, uh, I can think of that a new age pump should have it has almost all the functions so yeah and my next point that i found was that uh okay i'm almost i'm almost done with the pros uh oh and it comes with two flange sizes so of course we have different uh nipple sizes uh, it actually comes with two of these one is 24 mm and one is 27 mm so you can use the one that that suits you <laughs> i'm trying to get the 27 but it's just so high up on the cupboard oh it's here it's here this is the 27 and this is the 24 which i have so 24 is what most moms use um i think <laughs> well it's what i use uh, i was initially a bit concerned because uh, i am 24 on one side and 21 on another side that's what i use for the spectra and so i was like both two sides 24 i don't know whether it worked for me uh, but it did and in fact even the side which i thought was the wrong size because i'm 21 and i use 24 right expressed better than my other side so i was just like really happy i think the fact that it's silicone it adheres better as compared to you know the plastic flanges the, the size really matters then because you know it, it's not um more malleable is that is that what you call it yeah it's, it's like plastic right so it needs to be the right right size so this one i think kind of has a little bit of plus minus uh <laughs> plus minus uh, adaptability to it so yeah and uh yes and 
I do think that the pricing point is also pretty reasonable. So I was comparing it to, so there are two comparisons, right? One is to the other portable pumps. So you have the well-known ones like LV, you have Imani, which is also another frequent mention. And this is actually very comparable in pricing. LV is really pricey, uh, like really, really pricey. Like I think $600, I think for two, two of it. Uh, this, on the other hand, is 99 90 for one set one side sorry and so one set is just two hundred dollars compared to the lb which is 600 imani is also about the same price range as this one um but this one uh, uh when it's on sale is super attractive <laughs> it, it's on 20 percent sale just recently and i think that's definitely a great price point to pick it up at um of course, if you don't have the 20%, we have a 10% discount code that I will link at the bottom of the description, uh, in the description box, so you can enjoy it at 10% off. That is uh, about, my math is not my strongest suit, but definitely less than $200 when you get this. And when they're having a sale, the discount code is also stackable, so right now, actually, you get up to 28% off this. So I just think that the pricing point makes it very attractive for you to get. But of course, if you're comparing it to the mainstream pumps, the Spectra retail price is actually $300 to $400 depending where you get it from. Uh, but that is the price point at physical stores. Uh, if you get it online, maybe you can get it slightly less than $300. So definitely this is more expensive than this. Uh, but it then brings me to another point which I will then share later is that they are not really... Um, they're both like palms right but it's like fruits it's like apples and oranges you can't really compare it directly because this is a portable palm and this is like a, a heavy duty hospital grade pump so uh, definitely the performance wise you cannot compare it on the same scale uh, this offers you a value added function of being able to be mobile hands-free and everything uh, but i still do find the expression uh, capability of this uh, spectra or if you want to compare to like the Medela would be better uh, that's for myself I do hear some moms have a pretty equal eel uh, but you definitely do need to take a bit longer time uh, for sure because uh, this one is uh, of a different capability in that sense okay so that that is one of the downsides of the product uh, you should not expect it to perform as well as you know mainstream heavy duty pumps um yeah was that my point yeah oh so pricing point yes pricing point um uh, it is cheaper if you compare it to the spectra uh but yeah performance wise you have to also uh, take note of that okay now down to the list of cons, uh, definitely no product is perfect so I just want you guys to be aware of these things because uh, there are some functions that I wish, oh you know it'd be nice to have them there so maybe version 2 might have it but uh, after going through most of the cons, I don't find any of them really a huge deal breaker uh, but I would definitely take my recommendation accordingly. So um, first con that I found was that it does not have a timer. So and doesn't have the battery meter so the spectra right you can see that you know there is a timer that runs so you know how long you've been pumping for you know when to take your rest you know when to change from stimulation to expression depending on your pumping session schedule uh, this one you don't have that um, but it's very easily negated with a timer on your mobile phone so i think the trade-off uh it's, it's not very big but i just need you to guys to take note of that um also one of the downsides is that while you're wearing this you cannot really massage or use hot compress for your expression uh, so one of the things that worked very well for me especially at the beginning of my breast pumping was hot compress uh, moist heat is shown to i mean or is said to basically help you improve uh, uh, blood flow blood circulation which then help to you know uh, release your milk is more easily and at the start when you're really trying to troubleshoot this whole breast pumping experience hot compression really worked for me and it, it really allowed me to uh, feel more comfortable as well but this one you, you can't have a compress during it you can have before and after but uh, not during so that's one of the things you want to take note of so for me i also uh, started using the Levy warming pads like this which then allows i mean the function of these warming pads is that you can 
warm and vibrate during uh, your breast pumping session. So uh, you can just put it in your bra the, and then you can use it alongside that. But this one, because it covers the whole, almost the whole breast, there really isn't a place that you can place these. So if you're really relying on these things, then you know, you, you just need to take note that you can't use them simultaneously. You can do it before, of course, um, but that, of course, then, you know, you take uh, a bit more time. Which I don't think is a deal breaker either because as your breast gets more comfortable with expressing these tools, uh, you may or may not need them as much as you used to. Yeah. Uh, but then one very important thing is massaging. So massaging also helps uh, to express your milk better. But with this product on, you, you can't really get to the areas that you need to massage. Uh, if you have lumps in your breast, uh, these might not be an option for you to clear as well because sometimes you need to knead out the lumps right uh, when you have clogged ducts or anything like that you need to really kind of get at it with either a massaging tool or your fingers and uh, this unfortunately you don't have that uh, room to do so okay um another thing is this has to be placed in the uh, the correct position because uh, the last thing that you want is to have it on thinking that you're pumping and at the end you know it shifts and then you realize it didn't do anything for you uh, so you have to place it in the correct to put more effort to place it correctly uh, and then of course don't move vigorously don't uh, go exercising and things like that you know it, it will not work with this pump of course you don't think about exercising while you're pumping so uh, massive movements uh, you might cause the pump to shift so just take note of that but of course if you're at the computer you're not going to do you know really heavy duty activity so then this this works right um, but you do have to check from time to time that they are in the correct position so that you know uh, you are continuously uh, expressing your milk okay uh, but one of the things i realized is that when this is you know down in your bra uh, because the milk is expressed out through here the duct valve right uh, if you can imagine it is hidden inside and it's all the way in so in order to check I kind of need to really like get at it uh, and of course then it's not as discreet as you would like to right um, yeah so that's just one of the things that I, I experienced it's quite difficult to check the milk level compared to if you were to use the bottle with the, the palm that is exposed you can see immediately how much milk is there Whereas this one, you have to kind of like peek into your bra. And one of the things uh, that you should take note of is also that this is of a limited capacity. But as with the bottle as well, right, the bottle also has like a, a limit to it. And if you use really big bottles, like the Higa ones, they have the big ones, uh, then it's going to be quite long and uncomfortable. Uh, so everything has a limited capacity. This one, I think it's 100 and... I think it's 100 and... 180 180 so you can see there are actually very useful uh, measuring uh, marks here 180 fits here so it's not the full cup but it's up to here 180 you also have useful oh I just realized this useful measuring marks at the side because while you're pumping at the side then you can see what level it hits so actually 180 is quite a big capacity in fact uh, yeah, I, I would say that's pretty impressive. But this is uh, a point that I noticed was that I'm not sure if this is proven, but I just get the feeling that when milk starts to fill up, it might not be as efficient in pumping because it pumps into liquid, you know what I mean? Uh, as compared to if it's the traditional bottle, the, the duct valve pumps into the bottle and it's the resistance is air compared to liquid. So... I don't know if it's really the case, uh, but for me, I just feel that maybe that might block the milk from coming out. I don't know. So this one, you can try for yourself and let me know what you think, okay? Yeah. Okay. And... Yeah, you might need to clear the container as well often for a more effective pump if that really is the case. Uh, but clearing it is just so easy. You just like pour it out. So uh, I think it kind of balances out. 
Okay, um, I also just want to share one thing with you guys, which is something I recently started doing, which is power pumping. And uh, because I think I dragged some of my sessions a little bit longer because I was just busy outside or attending to things, um, then my milk supply started to decrease a little bit. And I think it's just the body's way of regulating itself, right? Because if you don't express as often, then your body might think that um, your baby doesn't need that much milk. And the whole supply and demand kind of uh, kicks in and then your body reduces the production. So recently I have been uh, observing that uh, I usually pump a daily yield of uh, across 1 liter, so about a liter and 100 ml, 1.1 liters like that. But then recently I've been falling a little bit short and uh, it could be because I'm stretching my pumping sessions a little bit too long. Uh, so. One of the things that had been recommended to me to do was power pumping. And power pumping, I've done it for a while now, just a few days. Actually, I just saw it, it's, its effectiveness in just two days of doing it. You're supposed to do it for about four days and then you evaluate. But I did it for two days and I've already seen effects that it has, you know, stimulated uh, more production. So what power pumping does, just to quickly share with you, is that you have a regular pump session, which sometimes would, uh, for most moms would be maybe 20 minutes, rest 10 minutes, pump another 10 minutes. Power pumping is to add another additional slot where you pump 20, rest, pump, rest, pump, rest, like that. Yeah. So uh, replace a regular session with a power pumping session. I will link uh, a useful resource down in the description box below as well if you need to know about power pumping. But it's basically to add on more pumping so to stimulate your production more. And even if you do not express out anything, to still do it so that you know your body knows and thinks, okay, you know, she, a baby needs more milk, let's produce more. And it's shown really effective for me, but power pumping means that I will need to be at with the pump more, right? So when I was using this to start my power pumping, I was like, oh my, like, this is really my best friend already. Um, but then this allows you to power pump very, very effectively while doing other things. And because power pumping is not really like sucking uh, or expressing oversupply, it's more to target under supply. So this stimulates the nipples and the areolas, which then produces more hormones, which then makes your body know, okay, more milk, more milk like that. So I find that this is really good for power pumping. Uh, this makes power pumping also easier and more manageable. And if you need added power pumping sessions, then this uh, really helps you uh, achieve that and make it easier for you and less stressful for you as well because you can just place it in and go about doing your usual thing. <laughs> so I've used, started using this for power pumping for an afternoon session and so far it's been really effective. Uh, in fact, it's so effective, so quick that I was a bit worried, oh no, will I reach the oversupply or engorgement kind of stage, right? Because breast pumping, breastfeeding is just really delicate. It's a balance. So uh, yeah, you also don't want it to be over effective and start oversupply and then that will create a different host of issues. Okay, so uh, yeah. All right, so those are all the pros and cons I've listed. I hope that they are useful. I just want to do a wrap up with you. Overall, I do think that this is a very useful uh, product, but uh, I would only recommend it if you are using it as your secondary pump because uh, I still do think that Compared to, you know, these kind of heavy duty pumps, uh, it's not as effective in clearing out your milk or expressing it efficiently. So this function is really more for being hands-free, being mobile, being on the go. But if you, I mean, for, you know, really efficiency and effectiveness, I still do think that this is important. So if you have a Premi pump already, like the Spectra or Medela or the Hegan, whichever you prefer, this is a great secondary pump. Uh, I I know some moms who use this as their primary pump, it might work for them, but I personally uh, would think that it works better as a secondary pump. Yep. Uh, Spectra is still currently my go-to for morning and night because I can just be in bed watching TV after baby's in sleeping. Yeah, so I can still do that. But definitely for work, for office, for holiday, for staycation, for traveling in future when we can, this was my number one pick. Okay, um, yeah, with this, I 
honestly feel like it gives me freedom i can go on breastfeeding my baby for longer because it just feels more manageable i don't feel like every time i pump i need to be away from baby and have someone else uh, attend to baby i can kind of do it simultaneously uh, one of my friends actually shared that she uses this for night sessions and i think that's really great because one of the things that i realized especially the first month uh, first uh, two months where baby was uh, waking up at night to drink uh, if i was on night shift then i need to pump then i take care of baby uh, they're both separate times and that means there's a time to rest there's a time to sleep uh, but this because you can do it both at the same time then you get to sleep more and sleeping more resting more is really important when it comes to breast milk production as well as your postpartum recovery so this definitely uh, opens up a new dimension of breast pumping yeah so uh in short it will be suitable for you if you are someone who needs to attend to baby uh, most of the time if you don't have extra help from grandparents or if you do not have extra help from a helper or a nanny then this is gonna be truly a lifesaver for you truly an essential product i think um if you are back in the office to work uh, and you know you have many appointments that you need to go out for and you're always finding yourself you know rushing from point a to point b then this can be a great in between uh, this can allow you to pump uh, while attending to a very busy schedule if you feel that you're locked to your pump and you feel like you need to get away you know as moms we have so much on our mind we have so many things to do it's just like a new challenge it's a new list of responsibilities so if anytime you feel just not up to it you feel like giving up you feel like you know i just can't do this anymore i think this pump is gonna give you that little bit of breather that little bit of like you know it's not that bad <laughs> that kind of yeah so if you feel very trapped in your room pumping uh, this might really help you so you might want to consider it yeah so as i mentioned if you're only looking at one pump uh, per, as a primary pump i still would recommend spectrum Medella, the mainstream heavy duty ones uh, this would be great for a secondary option and overall i think that the cons in total are actually really negligible compared to the host of pros that it offers you i don't think any of the cons are really a you know deal breaker kind of like you know uh thing so i still would think that this is great um yep and <laughs> one last thing i uh, do note that the bee free pump is uh only for one side one pump for one side so if you want both sides which i would definitely recommend because you don't want to like take double the time right it totally defeats the purpose so you need to get two sets in order to be able to breast pump simultaneously okay and yeah oh you can also one added thing that i thought of was that you can also use this to stimulate so um one of the things that I realized really worked, you know, uh, was latching baby on one side and then using a haka to collect the letter on the other side. It was efficient, it helped to stimulate production. So this can mimic that same thing. You can have palm suckling on one side and then you can collect the letter with the haka on the other side. Um, I think that that works very, very well. But of course you need to hold the pump because you cannot use the haka with the with the with the bra so yeah i think that's about it i think that you know this video is uh quite packed with a lot of stuff because i just want to share with you everything uh of course as i use continue to use this i will still continue to discover new things about it new ways to use it um, but overall just using it for a short time i already find it so useful and number one thing that a mom needs really is freedom i feel you know uh, it helps with your mental wellness it helps with your physical wellness so i really think that uh, uh, this pump really delivers that so i hope my video has helped you guys in knowing more about the b3 and also knowing whether it's going to be a suitable pump for yourself um, i will link all the relevant information in the description box below as well as our promo code that allows you to enjoy 10% off uh yeah 
not just on this palm uh, but also the accessories and baby express also has two other palms uh, one is the be mine uh, and the other one is a one side palm as well so you can check those out if you're keen uh, i'll link them all down below and of course if you have any comments if you have any questions just also comment down below so that i can attend to them uh, I might not know everything, but I'll figure it out and find out for you guys, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, thumbs up would be great. And I'll catch you guys in my next review or next video. Uh, please also let me know if you guys have any products that you want me to try and share with you my experience about them. So signing off, that's it for me, from me for the Be Free. Uh, yeah. Oh, and if you have any comments about the Be Free, also put it down below so other moms will get to see your review and your experience as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!